Well, when you think of junk food, Twinkies or chips might come to mind, but there are some on the list that may surprise you, like bread, for instance. And one nutritionist we have here says there's a new list of junk foods that can hurt people in the long term. So, Robert Redford, thanks for coming in. It's my great pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, so you, you are the author of Miracle Enzyme, and among other things. Well, that, that, that's a book I wrote um, about an enzyme that was an anti-inflammatory, the Miracle Enzyme. And during the research for the book, I had to find out what was causing this massive uh, epidemic of inflammation that's causing so much disease fr fr from head to toe. Um, Alzheimer's, senility, eye problems, lung problems, heart problems, digestive problems, joint problems, just about everything is being caused by inflammation. The studies are in, the scientists know it, even the drug companies are starting to, if you like, get on the, on the bandwagon and trying to develop safe anti-inflammatories. I say safe because we know the others are not safe and that's and so what I did I found out that this inflammation was coming from obvious from toxins and from poor breathing not drinking enough water but the major part of the inflammation is coming from starchy carbohydrates. But you know it seems like people are so programmed to eat certain things you know whole grain bread is good for you or pasta or this you know and, and you sort of you don't think about it so this is a, a different way of thinking about junk food the problem is that <laughs> the media um, uh, is... is <laughs> that would be well, us. Uh, the, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I know I'm here actually and I'm hoping to use the media to help people, but um, the, the media is, if you like, there is a, a degree of advertising and marketing, and advertising and marketing does work or else we wouldn't be all here today. And it's, of course, the food industry are fighting a rear guard action. Everybody knows about junk food, so they say, well, whole grain bread's fine, or, you know, jacket potatoes are fine, or baked potatoes, or pasta's fine, or, or, or so it's not true. Mm -hmm. They cause inflammation just the same. In fact, whole grain's got an extra bad thing with it, that it blocks the uptake of calcium, so when you're taking whole grain bread, you're blocking your calcium uptake because of phylates in the... You know. so, so you have this different kind of uh, food pyramid, that, and, and really it focuses on digestion. Yes. So talk about that pyramid of the even. Well, I mean, the real food we should be eating is vegetables. In fact, it's up on the screen there, which is great, actually. But the real food are vegetables, 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 vegetables. We show dark skin fruits, cherries, berries, blackberries. These are the super fruits, not the high sugar fruits, such as um, bananas and, and melons. They're, they're a, bit, a little bit too high in sugar, not too bad in, in small, small doses. Um, we've got nuts, seeds and beans, they're essential. Better sprouted to make them alive because when they're dead, they're dead. In fact, in uh, so California, kind of like here's food. a political statement, in <laughs> California now, they're demanding that all almonds, is that how you say mm -hmm. almonds, are, um, are pasteurized. So they're killing, you're growing some of the best almonds in the world and then killing them. Crazy, mm -hmm. Will. And so anyway, <laughs> and so we need some uh, healthy, um, I say healthy, organic uh, eggs, um, naturally organic meats, fish, these are all great foods actually because these are not uh, mm -hmm. inflammatory. In fact, fish is an anti-inflammatory. So, so really you should right. be staying away from more of the starchy things that people kind of know, you know, subliminally that they should stay away from. Don't eat man-made food, eat God-made food. Okay, okay, that's a yeah, good thing. Yeah. Now, uh, tips on meals to encourage better digestion and health. We were going to pop up some of these and just talk about, uh, first of all, uh, taking digestive enzymes. you think that's a good idea? If you're going to eat this, then you've got to take enzymes. Enzymes are the thing that creates life in our body. Without enzymes, we're just, if you like, going to die very, very quickly. And, and uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I want to get through as much of this yeah, as we yeah, can. Yeah. But also <laughs> drinking liquid, you're saying that's not good unless it's maybe a glass of wine with your meal? I mean, not for kids, of course. But, but you shouldn't drink liquid with a meal, no, because that's going to upset the whole digestive tract. You know, half an hour before, half an hour afterwards, a glass of wine, but that's a social reason, not because it's healthy for you. It's, <laughs> no. Yeah, and then and chewing a little bit more than oh, a lot that, of people that, are used yeah, to. I mean, study after study shows that um, if you chew your food at least 20 to 40 times, you get something like three times more nutrition from each, each mouthful of food. So, you know, why would you eat that much food when you can eat that much and get the same amount of nutrition? And then also between meals, what do, would you say is the best thing to maybe snack on? Because obviously people are hungry between meals. If, if, if you're hungry and you need satiety, then it's got to be something like um, uh, nuts. Just just chew nuts, but make sure you chew them. Chew, okay. chew, 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 and you will feel great just doing such things. And it makes, you, it makes you full. Well, 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 my my. <laughs> My best fast food in the world is the avocado. The Hass avocado is just My awesome. four-year-old loves those. That is, is the most perfect food. It's got 
all these nutrients, perfect fats, it's just great for us. And we go for hours after eating one of those and feeling great. So. Now, now, whenever you, say, if you're going somewhere and you say it, it's Robert Redfern, do people think, oh, my, is Robert Redfern is coming? Nobody's ever said that before. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you have the book, The Miracle Enzyme. The Miracle so Enzyme. That's out. And okay. I have a website, themiracleenzyme.com. If people go there, mm -hmm. I've got resources they can download. And, and just, just generally, just look around with all the links there. We have the food. We have it all linked to our website, and we're right. out of time, but we will do that. And people can go on and, and see the whole segment again if they, I hope if they, they miss part. Of it. So nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you for much. coming on. I'm going to eat healthy today. My I promise. Great pleasure. All right. For more information, go to sandiego6.com and click on Hot Topics.